A short stay in Washington, D.C. is the best way to immerse yourself in the roots of the American country. Iconic landmarks and beautiful parks are ideal for tourists who love exploring historical sites and walking across urban jungles. Welcome back to Town Travel Tips. Today, we will discover the best things to do while in Washington, D.C. Remember to subscribe to the channel, like the video, and get ready to travel with us. Unlike other American cities, Washington is a place where you can walk from one attraction to the other, so bring with you a pair of comfortable shoes. The city's heart develops around Pennsylvania Avenue and has many relevant landmarks and green parks that can be reached on foot. Capitol Hill one of the spots you cannot miss in D.C. is, obviously, Capitol Hill. The Capitol, known worldwide as the symbol of the United States, houses the House of Representatives and the Senate. The massive dome, modeled after St. Peter's Basilica in Rome, towers over all other Washington buildings. The main structure was built between 1793 and 1812. The most recent addition, completed in 1958 to 1962, extended the main facade where the presidents take the oath of office. The Lincoln Memorial A lovely 40-minute walk from the Capitol leads to another prominent and famous location, the Lincoln Memorial. In the center of the memorial stands a 19-foot marble monument of a seated and contemplative President Abraham Lincoln, flanked by 36 columns, one for each state that existed at the time of Lincoln's death. The Lincoln Memorial is separated from the Washington Monument by the Reflecting Pool, which is visited by over 12 million tourists each year and is considered a symbol of the United States. The Washington Monument The 555-foot white obelisk of the Washington Monument is a famous American emblem and a lovely sight, especially when mirrored in the lengthy reflecting pool at its base. The construction, honoring the nation's first president, did not go as planned. The proposal was authorized by Congress in 1783, but construction began in 1848. In 1854, after only one-third of its construction, political bickering, and a lack of funding halted the building for several years. The Civil War caused even more delays, so the tower was completed in 1885 when the Army Corps of Engineers finally finished it. The many stages of its construction can still be seen in the three variations in the hue of its face stones. The White House The White House is the official residence of the United States President. The house of every president, with the only exception of George Washington, was erected by James Hoban in 1792 and restored in 1818 after being burned down by British soldiers in 1814. Although tours of the interior, which include the East, Blue, Green, and Red Rooms, as well as the Ballroom and the State Dining Room, must be scheduled in advance through your congressional office or embassy, every visitor to Washington will want to see this iconic building, at least from the outside. The suggested spots for looking over the white walls are Pennsylvania Avenue Northwest or Lafayette Square. The National Air and Space Museum The National Air and Space Museum is one of the world's most visited museums, housing a collection of historic aircraft and spacecraft such as the original 1903 Wright Brothers Flyer and Charles Lindbergh's Spirit of St. Louis, the first plane to fly solo across the Atlantic Ocean. The Apollo 11 command module, part of the first manned lunar landing mission, represents more recent flying history. Permanent and changing exhibitions depict the science, history, and technology of aviation and space flight, covering topics such as air power's use in both world wars, the space race, flight pioneers, and cutting-edge flight and space technology. The Library of Congress Modeled after the Opera Theater in Paris, the Library of Congress is a hidden gem in Washington and the biggest library in the world. In addition to over 30 million books, the library has 3.6 million recordings, 
14 million photographs, 5.5 million maps, and over 8 million pieces of sheet music. The place is so extensive and has so many peculiar historical items that it is best to hire a guide for a quick yet effective tour of the building. One of the three surviving complete Gutenberg Bibles, an earlier hand-printed Bible, Thomas Jefferson's draft of the Declaration of Independence, and Jefferson's personal library are pieces on display that you do not want to miss. Have you been to Washington, D.C.? Let us know your experiences in the comment section down below. If you are planning a trip, go ahead and send your questions to our community. We are here to help every fellow traveler. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel, and we'll see you in the following video. Ciao!